taking you back to the old furniture shop. I'm just getting ready to take some pictures of my newest line of file cabinets. You know, when I make a file cabinet, my goal is to make a cabinet that's going to last for 100 years or more and still look this great and still be just as functional. And I'm sure with the kind of money that you're spending on a file cabinet, you'd love to have a cabinet that you could pass down to future generations. So I thought I would take just a few minutes to show you some of the techniques I use in making these file cabinets so that you can make an informed decision. So let's start with the basic construction of the cabinet box. Now I got this little example set up here and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But you know many if not most of the file cabinets that you're going to find, you're going to find this basic panel construction. You're, you know you're going to have the drawer sitting there. You're going to have a panel underneath it. You're going to have a panel on either side. And this panel is just attached into that panel, and this panel is attached into this side panel, and, and that kind of holds everything together. And there, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. It, it works, but I'm thinking, you know, 20, 50, 75 years down the road, with this thing being moved around and all the weight in it, sooner or later, this is going to start to loosen up a little bit. And uh, I think there's a better way of doing it. Let me show you how I construct these. I use face frame construction. Now, this is a face frame. This is the actual front of the file cabinet. Not only does it have a face frame, but you notice that I have corner legs on, uh, on every corner of the file cabinet. And the face frame is dadoed into the corner leg. So there's a dado on there, it's screwed, and then it's glued in. Now, now notice there's also a dado on either side here, and that's where the sides go. So when I put this together, the side will go in here, that's going to be glued, and that's going to be screwed as well, and that's really, really sturdy. Uh, let's put this box together, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I have the cabinet box completely assembled now, and I just wanted to point out three things that might seem obvious, but I'll point them out to you. So first of all, you'll notice that when I put these together, all of the panels are already finished. And I do that just because I think I can get a lot better finish on them than that. Uh, the second thing you realize is that this file cabinet is upside down. When I'm, when I'm building them and getting ready for packaging, I put the top down and I build it up from the, from the bottom. So this is the top of the file cabinet right here. Now also, what I do, I mean, we don't, okay, so I pack these really, really well. And when you get yours in, you're going to realize how well I pack them. But, I mean, occasionally one is going to get damaged. And most likely what's going to happen is every now and then they're going to hit one of the, the file cabinet tops. So I designed these in such a way there's some pocket holes in here. This top is really easy to replace. So if you get your file cabinet and the top has any damage, I can uh, ship you off a new top and it's really, really easy to replace it. So let's fold this thing down and take a look at it. And it'll show you how sturdy it is. So here you're going to see the sides back in the face frame. And every one of these is dadoed, screwed, and glued into these corner legs. It is extremely sturdy. And I can guarantee you, 100 years from now, this is going to be just as sturdy as the day that I put it together. So the next thing we have to do is get our drawer slides in here. And, and I mean, there's a lot of different ways to put the drawer slides in. We want to make sure that the, that the drawers line up really well and they slide in and out really well. So this is how I do it. I construct this inner frame. Now you notice, let's get this the right way. You notice that this inner frame lines up perfectly to the face frame. So all I got to do is I slide this in here. I temporarily tack it in. You're going to see there's screw holes here and there's screw holes all the way up and down each side. And so I just tack it in and then I can put my drawer slides on and it's really, really easy to to adjust these so that your drawer works really, really well. Let me put those drawer slides on and then we'll take a look at the box. Well, we have all of our drawer slides in and I even got the bottom drawer put in. And I really like these slides. They're a KV 6500 slide, 125 pounds, full extension. They're really nice slides and I think they're going to last for about 100 years. That's the goal. So once, once I get the bottom drawer in, and then I can go around and, and get it all aligned. Then I just go around and I attach with screws this entire frame to the back panel of the filing cabinet. And, and once it's attached, this is permanent. These are going to slide in and out very, very smoothly, very nicely. And there's just no way that they're ever going to move. So the next thing, let's, let's take a look at the actual file box. 
So there's a lot of different ways that I've seen companies make their file boxes. Uh, some of them just have like a little four inch box going around here and then they put that metal frame inside. I mean, I guess that's okay. But uh, I, you know, when I design these, I'm like, you know what, I'd rather have a full box. I just think it, it looks a little nicer, a little bit more permanent, and it works a lot nicer. Now, as far as what this is constructed of, uh, well, you know I like solid oak, no doubt about it. But when a box like this, you know, any piece of solid wood over a period of 10, to, again, 10, 20, 50 years, as it uh, takes in moisture and releases moisture during winter and summer, sooner or later the box is going to move a little bit. And if this box shrinks or warps or anything, well, then you're going to have problems with the slides, and it's not going to slide in and out real easy. So I chose this type of box. It's made out of a Baltic birch plywood, and you notice it's all dovetailed. And uh, another company makes these for me, and they do just a beautiful job. I mean, these are very, very nice boxes, and once you hammer them together, I tell you, they're not going anyplace. And what I do then is I, I, I take the front of the, of the file cabinet, and I screw it from the inside onto the space. And then when I put the knob on, the knob actually goes through all the way. So the knob is attached to the box, not just to the face. Because I've seen some companies where they just, you know, they'll build it like this, and then they'll just attach the knob to the front. So when you're pulling on it, you're pulling on the front and not the whole box. And I thought, well, that doesn't make sense. I'd rather pull on the whole box. I mean, it's never going to come loose that way. And also, the, especially the knob on this one, this is just a wood knob that, that you can easily take off. So if you get this and you'd rather have another knob on it, you can just go buy a different knob and put it on there uh, to match any of the other furniture. And then the other thing that I do with the box, I put in these file folders. And these work really slick, because then you can put your file in, it slides really easy, and, and this is designed so like the regular file folder will fit this way, and then if you're in a, like a legal office, their file folder is a little bit wider, they're about three inches wider, so those can go on this way and slide back and forth like that. So either way, this file cabinet has got you covered. So I almost got this done, I just have to put these, the other two boxes in here, finish getting this adjusted. Uh, on the bottom, I put these, I got these little one inch felt pads, they're about a quarter of an inch thick, and I put these up on the, on top of every leg, and they'll stick really nice, and that way it'll slide across the floor, and it won't mar your wood floors at all. Um, and then after that, we just put the bottom on. So, um, let me finish putting this together, and then we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like as a finished product. So here is the finished product. I think it turned out pretty nice. This is actually the number 225 file cabinet shown in the fruit wood stain. The smaller one over there is the number 220, and that is shown in golden oak. I got one more in this style. It's actually three full drawers, of course. It's a little bit taller, and that's going to be the number 230. Now, this type of construction that I use, this face frame construction, uh, where it's glued and screwed into the corners, that's the same type of construction I use on all of my file cabinets, and all of my TV stands, and then the storage tables that you find on my website, too. So go out to my website. It's called theoakfurnitureshop.com. You'll see all these file cabinets. I also have some really cool lateral file cabinets. And you'll see all my other products on my TV stands and all my tables too. So if you have any questions, you can email me from the website or call me at 1-800-769-8258. And I would love to make one of these file cabinets for you. Thank you so much for joining me and for watching. Hi, this is Gene, welcoming you back to the Oak Furniture Shop. I'm just getting ready to take some pictures of my newest line of file cabinets. You know, when I make a file cabinet, my goal is to make a cabinet that's going to last for 100 years or more and still look this great and still be just as functional. And I'm sure with the kind of money that you're spending on a file cabinet, you'd love to have a cabinet that you could pass down to future generations. So I thought I would take just a few minutes to show you some of the techniques I use in making these file cabinets so that you can make an informed decision. So let's start with the basic construction of the cabinet box. Now I got this little example set up here and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But you know many if not most of the file cabinets that you're going to find, you're going to find this basic panel construction. You're, you know you're going to have the drawer sitting there. You're going to have a panel underneath it. You're going to have a panel on either side. 